Jesus is the answer for the world today. Hi, and welcome to CPC, Christian Pentecostal Daily Devotion. I am Jeremiah. And I'm Rufina. And uh, we're here to encourage you today because the Word of God is the place that we stand. As a matter of fact, we can only stand on one thing that is sure. And that is the the Word word of of God. God. Why? Because the Bible tells us in Psalms 119, verse 105, it says that the, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen. But it also says in that same psalm that the heavens uh, are secured by the word of God. Wow. It says that the word stands secure in the word of God. And it also says in Psalms 119 verse 160, it says this. Your word is truth from the beginning. From the beginning. And all of your righteous judgments endure forever. Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. Um, today we're going to be reading from the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, and verses 22 through 25. It says, Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts purified from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our hope without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Let us be concerned for one another to help one another to show love and to do good. Let us not give up the habit of meeting together as some are doing. Instead, let us encourage one another all the more since you see that the day of the Lord is coming nearer. You know, I want to share a small part of a commentary on verse 22. We're going to go down. But it says here to let us draw near with a true heart in prayer and in praise and in every act of confidence of worship. Why? Because we must do it with a sincere heart because this was required by the law in the Old Testament that whenever you draw near to God to worship, it had to be with a sincere heart. And more than ever, with everything that's going on around us, Mm. we need to praise Him. We need to worship Him and know that we can draw near to Him with a sincere heart because God knows our heart. Sincere is a very interesting word. Mm-hmm. In the Latin is sincero. It means without wax. And at those times they used to take a vessel and when it was cracked they used to fill it with wax and then they would paint it as, as part of the whole entire vessel. But some people noticed that when they took it home and put it in the window and the sun shined on it, it would begin to melt the wax revealing the crack. Well, if we come with a sincere heart, the Lord will deal with our hearts. But if we're not sincere, God will reveal the cracks in our lives. Wow. You know, in, in verse um, 20, 23, when it says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, we can find right now that our faith and, you know, and our our hope in God can be a little wavered right Absolutely. now, right? Absolutely. Because of everything that we're going, we're going through. I mean, a lot of, instead of us drawing away from God and drawing, drawing away from each other, mm. we should be drawing closer to God. Um, a lot of us may be sitting at home all alone. Um, some of us may be going through all kinds of trials because we're we sick we or we have somebody that is sick and or have experienced um, death in our family because of this coronavirus. Mm. But the Word of God says to hold firmly, firmly, firmly Firmly. to the hope that we profess. Mm. Why? Because God, we can trust. Because God keeps His promises. The Bible says not to lean on our own understanding. Trust in the Lord and don't lean on this. You know what happens when you lean on this? There's no strength in this by, by itself. It has to be filled with the truth. Truth is a substance that cannot be overcome. The Bible says the righteous shall not be moved. Mm. And believe me, it's a hard time. It's rough. I'm remind, reminded of an old hymn that it says, in times like this, we need a savior. In times like this, we need an mm. anchor. Mm-hmm. Be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. And then it says, In times like this, we need the Bible. In times like this, oh, don't be idle. Mm. Be very sure. Be very sure your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, the only one. The only one. The only one. And let us not give up the habit 
of meeting together. Now you may be saying, what are you saying? We, we're on this quarantine right now. We're on this lockdown. We can't get together. Yes, we can get together. There has been so many doors open for us to communicate one to another. Zoom. We have Zoom, for instance. Yeah. We have video chats right on our phone. We have FaceTime right on our phones. We can communicate with one another. We can still meet with one another. And some of us have chosen not to reach out. Some of us have chosen um, to, to just stay within themselves. Yeah. But this is not a time to stay within ourselves. Absolutely. This is a time to reach out. There are some of you that are sitting home alone and wondering what, you know, where is everybody? Well, here at CPC, we are trying to reach out to as many people as possible. But we also need your cooperation in reaching out to us. If you know of somebody that's sitting home alone and needs a word of encouragement, call the church Amen. or call the person yourself. How about that? You can call the person yourself and encourage them. We need that. Let us consider one another. Let us so regard the welfare of others as to endeavor to and excite them to persevere in the Christian life. Amen. Wow. Amen. I don't know about you, but I need encouragement every day. And this is the most beautiful part, that we're not to give up the forsaking of the brethren. Amen. We're not to give it up. And like she said, it's very difficult, especially this time when we don't see that, um, that you know, the churches are full with people because we can't get together, but we have these different uh, venues in which we can participate. For example, we're here every day. You have a different pastor every day or pastors every day ministering to you the Word of God. And encouraging you. And now watch this. Pick up the phone because the church is open still in the office every day. I need prayer. Pick up the phone. I need a word of encouragement. Pick up the phone. There's nothing wrong with you drawing near to God, but you also need to draw near to one another because this is a time when we need to lean one another. Amen. As a matter of fact, that song by Bill Winters, I believe it is, that Lean On Me has become like uh, an anthem. Uh, an anthem. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, he maybe he thought he was writing an anthem then, but now more than ever, you know, a time when he wrote, there's a lot of politicalness going on, a lot of things happening, but here we are with a monster and uh, that's killing people. And folks, you can hear the voice. Lean on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. I'll be there to carry you on. You mm. see, no, it's not going to be long. But we can be strong when we lean on one another. So Amen. we need to lean more on one another as we lean also on the Lord, not forsaking our gathering together as the manner of some is. See, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. That there's some people say, you know what? And this time is only proven to me that I don't need to go to church. No, well, you don't need to go to the physical building to get encouragement. Mm -hmm. But remember that when we gather together in that temple, in that building, we get, we get encouragement. We become admonished by the word of God. We sing together. We worship together. And After we fellowship. Work, we fellowship together. Mm -hmm. So... I don't know about that. We need one another. We do and we, need one we, another. We need, the, we need the fellowship of the We of do the need saints. one another, and we need to be concerned for one another. And we need not sit at home and think that no one is concerned oh, yeah. about you. Uh, we yeah. are all concerned about each other, and we are reaching out the best way that we can. Yes. But we need to reach out to one another. All the time. If you have somebody that you're sitting there and, you, and comes to mind, call that person up. And if you don't have their phone number, then call the church up and bring them to our attention. Because maybe we have we know what's going on with that person. And then we can encourage you by saying, no, that person is fine. We, we've, we've been in touch with them. Okay? So remember that this responsibility is not only one way. It goes both ways. We need to be encouraged as well as you need to be encouraged. Romans chapter 12 verse 15 says, Rejoice with those that rejoice and weep with those who weep. You're, you may be at home saying, I'm weeping, nobody's weeping with me. Call us that we might weep with you. We don't know what you're weeping about. Amen. And if you tell us what's going on, we can have empathy. We can have compassion Amen. and pray with you. That's so important. Yeah. I'm going to give you the last one there. Well, I just want to just encourage you to remember that we are here for one another. Um, keep us in prayer. 
Keep the lead, lead, leadership of the church in prayer because we are always looking to to enhance um, what we what what we're doing at the church that's so right. that we can reach out more. Well, you know, that's, I was going to give the last one, but she said something and I want to bring it home. Right now, we had as a matter of fact, yesterday we had a meeting. We're looking to reach out to as many people as we can and have us come together. But I tell you, we need to take advantage of the resources that we have so that we can continue to fellowship. Correct. Right? So so if we reach out to you through Zoom or video chat or video, come on in. Come on in. in. So we could see each other again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we could fellowship and pray with one another. And if need be, to cry with one another. Mm -hmm. Father, we give you praise and we thank you because you said that we can draw near to you with full assurance of faith, having our conscience cleansed and our bodies washed. Thank you. We know that that water is the word of God. And that body is not just our body, but the whole body of Christ dwelling thank you, together. Lord. You said that we have a high priest in the heavens. You passed through the heavens, Lord Jesus, and that we're going to approach your throne any time we want. Amen. To find help and mercy Thank you, in Jesus. the time of need. And we come to you because, Lord, you were tempted in every way without sin. Amen. Without sin. And so we come to you the strength of our life, the rock of our life. Thank you, Lord. You are the truth of our life, the way, and you are our life. Thank in you. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank you. Father, we thank you, Lord thank Father, you, Lord. for each and every one that is listening today, Lord mm -hmm. God. And we just pray, Lord Father, for your comfort in this time and for your grace in this mm -hmm. time to help them in whatever they're going through. And Lord Father, help us too to be sensitive, Lord mm -hmm. Father, to your Holy Spirit. Wow. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. So just remember that each of That's us right. should reach out to someone else. In Him, we live, we move, and, and we, have we have our, our being. being. God bless. God bless you.